Dubai's Al Maktoum Airport master plan to become the world's largest airport. As you know, Dubai has a prominent track record of taking construction to the next level. The Emirate is home to the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa, the world's largest man-made island, the Palm Jumeirah, and the world's largest shopping mall, the Dubai Mall. All of these are part of the Emirates' transformation from a rural place in the desert some 30 years ago to today's cosmopolitan hub attracting both tourists and world citizens who call Dubai their home. Dubai is now on the threshold of the next leap of development. The leap of development involves, guess what, an airport. And not just any airport, but the largest airport in the world. Welcome back to the Billion Dollar Projects channel. In today's video, we are talking about a new mega-project in Dubai, which aims to build the largest airport in the world. Since all mega-projects in Dubai are phenomenal, we are sure that this airport will exceed all our expectations with its appearance, function, and capacity. But before we continue the video, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content like this one, and turn on the notification so you don't miss the next video. So if you've done this and you are ready for the video, let's continue. Dubai World Central, DWC, also known as El Maktoum International Airport, embarked on an expansion project undertaken by the Dubai Aviation Engineering Projects, DAEP, an autonomous entity responsible for the planning and development of Dubai's airports. Approved in 2014, the AED 120 billion 32.67 billion dollar expansion project is expected to make the Al Maktoum Airport the world's biggest in terms of size and passenger capacity by 2050. It will also ease pressure on the nation's first airport, Dubai International Airport (DXB), which is expected to witness 100 million passengers by the end of 2020 and has limited scope for further growth. The expansion is being executed in two phases over the next six to eight years. Upon completion, the airport will be able to handle more than 220 million passengers a year. DWC's location near Jabal Ali Port and in Dubai South provides access to air, sea, and land transport links. They are due to receive a major upgrade in support of the development of UAE's section of a pan-GCC rail link which, once complete, will see trains running from Oman to Kuwait. The initial phase of the expansion is further divided into two sub-phases, the first of which involved the construction of new terminal facilities, concourses and satellite terminals, as well as the expansion of existing facilities. The second sub-phase will expand and construct runways, site grading, roads and tunnels. Let's take a look at the Dubai World Central Passenger Terminal expansion. A passenger terminal expansion project was launched in March 2016 and was completed in 2018. It enhanced the terminal's passenger handling capacity from 5 million to 26.5 million a year. The 711,569 square foot passenger terminal at DWC Airport was opened in October 2013. It was initially designed to host 5 million passengers a year with a possible expansion to 7 million. The expansion project increased the terminal's built-up area to approximately 1.57 million square feet and adds new facilities to the arrival and departure areas. Expansions in the departure area include commercial zones and offices, as well as a new check-in hall with 64 counters and an additional 10 counters for business class passengers. A new immigration hall with 55 border control counters is constructed for visa and passenger utilities. The project also builds 12 new boarding lounges and expands immigration transfer and security areas. A new baggage screening area and three new carousels were added to the arrivals hall at the existing baggage reclaim area. The expanded terminal now features a total of 24 boarding gates, seven baggage reclaim carousels, 104 check-in desks, and 2,542 parking spaces. And that's not all. There will be amazing technology. Biometrics and smart passenger tracking will be used during the expansion to facilitate seamless passenger movement through the terminals. 
The Phase 1 expansion includes the construction of two parallel, 4.5 kilometer long Code F runways with enough distance between them to enable simultaneous operations. The runways will also feature an instrument landing system, CAT-3B, allowing them to operate under low visibility. Two 385,000 meter square satellite concourses with an annual capacity of 65 million passengers will also be constructed. The courses will feature 200 wide-body aircraft contact stands, with 100 each for Code E and Code F aircraft. The second phase will see the construction of two more runways with similar dimensions and capabilities, increasing the total number of runways at the airport to five. A new terminal will be constructed on the east side of the airport. Two new concourses, each with a passenger handling capacity of 65 million a year, will also be constructed. Well, this is a brief explanation of the construction of the largest airport. We certainly expect the famous, official opening of the largest airport in the world. Now imagine you are one of the passengers who landed there. Just imagine that innovation and vast expanse. Would you manage to get out of the airport? We believe that it would be difficult for someone since the airport will be of unimaginable proportions. So the only thing left for us is to wait for the completion of the works, pack our bags and fly to Dubai, right? And before it happens, don't forget to leave comments and likes. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell to be notified when the new one is ready for watching. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.